Hey, what does TPMS ready mean? I don't we, know. You don't know? Well, I don't. I don't really know either, except for I ask a bunch of questions sometimes. Uh, we recently purchased a new RV, a Grand Design 2500RL, Imagine 2500RL, and it says TPMS ready on it. And in our uh, storage bay, left front portion of the storage bay, it's got a little slot uh, that's supposedly a repeater that helps, um, you know, repeat the signal from your tires uh, forward into the cab. And so we thought it was intriguing maybe to go ahead and get that. We had a, a TPMS that worked well for us on our R-Pod. But we thought this would be a better solution since it's kind of integrated into the system already. It uses the same app that you can use to open your slide and so forth. So uh, we thought that was a good idea. So we're going to give that a try. So uh, in this box, the tire link box, uh, from Lippert Components. Uh, we're going to unbox it here and show you what com comes. So, um, I've, um, we kind of poked a hole in it earlier because it was sliding down the back of the truck. But anyway, so when we open it up, there is two, two, you see two things here. Once this is the uh, repeater, and this plugs right into the pre wired module that's in the 2500RL, and this is what the alert system, and you put this in the cab of the truck. Uh, or the tow vehicle and it'll send an alert to this and when it goes off you can check your phone and find out what's going on uh, once you set up some parameters and so forth so let me pull this out um, there's the there's that module now inside here there are four um, valve stem covers that have um, neat little barcodes on them number one and they also um, you know are what sends a signal to to the repeater, which sends a signal to your phone telling you what your air pressure system is. And there is a um, USB charger for the, the uh, alert system. There's also a couple of wrenches. Um, this wrench helps you uh, lock it in and this helps you unscrew it and maybe change the battery if you need to on, on the valve stems. Here's a couple, and then it comes with a little, couple of little, um, four of these you have one for each valve stem this helps it keep it watertight a little bit and this helps lock it in place a little bit so uh, it also comes with a a um, complete you know instructions and so forth like this you know pretty fancy with a staple and everything um, there it is tire link tire pressure monitoring system 2.0 owner's manual it also comes, and I pulled this out previously, a quick start guide. So we're going to use that quick start guide to get going. So join us here as we uh, get this thing going. Hopefully it'll be helpful to you. and may help you uh, decide whether you want to get one of these or not. Here we are just outside the uh, storage bay of the 2500RL. And we'll see a big mess in here that we just made. This is the, um, I think it's called the sending unit or the repeating unit. And this is where you pair. Uh, your phone to so first thing they say to do is go ahead and plug this in now there is a a place to do it right here uh, it says you can remove that sticker before uh, docking so i'm going to remove the sticker uh, before docking maybe maybe the hardest thing i do all day i hope so you can kind of see there's a couple of contacts there and we're just going to stick this thing in there hopefully like like that now in theory there would be power right now but for some reason i don't see the power light coming on so uh, we're going to investigate why that's not happening so anyway we'll... go okay so um you're supposed to download the lippert one control app and and then pair it with the um pair it with the system here uh, the tire link system uh, instead of the lippert one control grand design has their own app that's made by lippert called compass and so we're using compass now Right now I've got it in pair mode and it's flashing and I, I went to um, I went on here to tire link and confirmed all this stuff and then I scanned and it connected with with tire link so it's now connected now it says to set up the coach and by setting up the coach I think what it's talking about is I've got to put the um, the valve stem covers on now so we'll do that next so uh, we kind of went away prematurely a while ago. We hit um, low power mode. Uh, we set up set up coach. We go to travel trailer, 
confirm and then you pick the number of axles you have one axle two axle three axles so we have two axles confirm and so select the tire that you would like to start so front axle left is where we're going to start we're going to continue screw the tire sensor onto the stem of the tire sensor detection can take up to 90 seconds so we're going to do that and then I'm going to put this little lock nut on here first glad you're getting down here and getting my dirty fingernails Well, I'm having a hard time doing that, so... You're, well, you're kind of in my way, to be honest. Huh? I'm going to try again. giving me we screwed it in we hit the pair mode and it popped up there's 67 psi 89 degrees fahrenheit uh now we're going to go ahead and do the next one and uh we don't have a lot of power left we're going to go ahead and do the next one there's these locking nuts on the back of it i'm just going to snug it up right now and later uh, i will uh come along with the wrench and tighten that up so we're going to go to the next one now so as you can see, um, to, to pair this next one, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this uh, thing on here a little easier than I did last. And of course, it's never easy for me. There we go. We just kind of put that all the way in. And so now you can see we're just going to go to left rear now, which is where we are. And... So it's not screwed into any tires, so I'm just going to put maybe like one, one thing. Now it's ready, and I'm going to hit continue, and then I'm just going to snug it down. It says it might take up to 90 seconds. So, so you can see it has popped up 67 PSI, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. The back tire is obviously cooler than the front tire by 2 degrees. So this is the alert indicator. What this does, it's, you can have this in the tow vehicle with you, and if there's an alert, a problem, um, it will send a notification to this, an alarm, and it will let you know to kind of check it out on your phone. I guess it could just send it to you on the phone, but it's, give, it's kind of a backup here. You, I mean, you could use this without this. You probably have the phone up the whole time anyway, right? Well, we, we probably will, but you could, you could use, you don't have to have this, is okay. the point. Um, there are some um, systems that don't have it. So the first thing you're supposed to do is hit that, and it, a red button is supposed to come on, and it's supposed to blink three times. That lets you know it's charged enough. Okay. And then once we do that, we're supposed to hit the pair mode on the repeater until we see it rap rapidly going. Five seconds or something like that. Thousand one, thousand two. Thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. Now it's blinking. Now I'm supposed to hit this again. It's blinking rapidly. It was supposed to do that, right? And then it's supposed to. I'm supposed to hit it again, I think. Within 10 seconds of waiting, the indicator press hold. Continue holding the alert indicator button until the LED and the buzzer sounds. I'm not getting a sound. Hmm. 
That's it. That was it. Yay. So I had to kind of let go and do it again because I, I guess I hit it prematurely. Okay. So anyway, I think we're all paired. Status lights on. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's hard to see. It's dark. Anyway, status lights on. Uh, we don't, now we can put this in the tow vehicle. And as you can see on the, I don't know if it's going to work this time. It's kind of trying to bring it back up. I guess these um, these sensors will go to sleep soon, and they're woken up by, by movement of the tires. So they'll go to sleep, and you won't be able to see them. But you can see this is where the tire link system is, and it's under tire link. And it's trying to load, but I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to load because I think maybe some of the sensors have gone to sleep because you don't want the batteries running all the time. Anyway, hey, thanks. Uh, one of the most important things about um, you know having an RV is making sure your tires are safe. And so these are supposed to be at 65 psi, and you saw there where they were at 67. So these are pretty good shape right now, and you certainly want to keep a monitor on, particularly when it gets hot. If one of them gets hotter than the other, you know you may have a bearing issue or something's going wrong with that tire so it's time to stop uh, pull over and check them out so hey thanks for watching uh, hey we'd love it if you like and subscribe to our channel and we're going to uh, keep doing a few upgrades and uh, i think next we actually have a backup camera we're going to try to install Woo! and uh, we'll see how that works for us i don't know <laughs> thanks for watching